When I started to work in the plant in 1974, spindles are going and spools are going and lint's flying everywhere. I walked in, and I, I never will forget this, that it, it looked like I was in another world. It was cotton flying everywhere. It was just like it was snowing. You basically had to fight your way through. In the 1970s, Dr. Jim Merchant and other NIOSH researchers began to study the health problems of North Carolina textile workers. One of the most striking things uh, we found when we first went into the textile mills was how sick some of these workers were. We found a direct relationship between the level of cotton dust in the uh, textile mill and uh, this disease uh, we know as brown lung. As a result of its research, NIOSH recommended a drastic reduction in the permissible level of worker exposure to cotton dust. OSHA adopted the new guidelines, but industry, concerned that the cost of compliance would be too high, objected all the way to the Supreme Court. They fought the cotton dust standard. You know, this is a cotton mill, what do you expect? I mean, that was their attitude. Hoping to pressure the government to enact the standard, thousands of textile workers demonstrated in Washington, D.C. Among them were many afflicted with brown lung disease. If they take away the cotton dust standard, the mill will keep on using workers up and then throwing them away. We're here today to keep our children, our grandchildren, from being treated like trash. In 1981, the Supreme Court upheld the cotton dust standard in its entirety, basing much of its decision on the medical research done by NIOSH. The textile industry then had to comply with the new requirements. Well, at first it was very tough because it involved uh, uh, huge expenditures for new equipment. I think there was a great deal of concern amongst the industry, and yet uh, the industry did uh, go ahead and, and meet the standard. And uh, once the standard was met, uh, it made a remarkable difference as far as the uh, uh, health of the employees. We uh, stopped seeing all of the reactions that employees were having to cotton dust. It's a perfect example of where you have a very serious health problem. You have really debilitating, sometimes fatal lung disease from a common exposure to workers in these textile mills. By identifying the problem, identifying solutions, including engineering solutions, practical solutions that could reduce exposure, we now see this as an almost extinct disease in the United States.